saying, oh my God, I don't look good today. Oh, I'm not feeling myself today. All that, cut that shit out, period. Let's go. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Serena, hence the intro, hence the channel name, that's so Rena. You get it corny, I know, but that's just how we are here. <laughs> if you're new here, we do this segment on my channel called Tipsy Talk, honey, and yeah, let's just get into it. So, this week's topic, y'all got to vote what topic we were gonna, it was out of two. So, next week we'll do the next topic, obviously. But you guys voted for a body confidence video, so I'm here to deliver to the gross, okay? Because I'm all about women empowerment, feeling your best, all that good stuff. So much to the point where I wrote down some topics, like, so that I stay on track with this because i really like this discussion so yeah and y'all know the casamigos she be sneaking up on the girl she be sneaking up on the girl okay so if you're of age go ahead and grab your drinky drink and let's go ahead and you know get lit and have some real ass discussion the first thing that i want to discuss is insecurities now I've said this before on my channel, but I do have some insecurities that I have expressed with you all. And my only insecure, I have two insecurities actually, and it is my areolas, <laughs> which y'all never get to see, but personally don't like them, but it's a family thing. Y'all want to understand unless you've seen them. And <laughs> my teeth, obviously. Those are my two insecurities that I've made known that I, you know, embrace because i haven't done e anything to fix either of them i have tried um smile direct club and i have tried bite bite rejected me and smile direct club was just tearing my gums up honey tearing them up okay so yeah um in the future i will be getting braces so i have already talked to an orthodontist in regards to that so that would be changed but um in regards to body confidence i feel like any aspect to where you don't feel secure within yourself or you don't feel confident in a certain area you know um i feel like it's okay to change those things now this brings me to my next topic which has to do with um plastic surgery so um you know i am not against plastic surgery so let's just get that out the way i'm not against plastic surgery but when someone is taking it to the point where they are risking their life. Well, you risk your life with any surgery, but if you are being told that there is a giant risk for you, you already have pre-existing conditions and you're risking it all just so that you can look a certain way specifically to look like someone else, right? Or doing it for somebody else. So let's say that you've seen somebody uh, do it and then their channel blew up and you're like, oh, well, I want my channel to blow up. Let me go and lay my life on the table and get cut open like a, like a, like a Thanksgiving turkey for views. You know, I'm not for that. But if you seriously are like, like me with my breasts, if, or let's take my sister, for example, she has a bigger, fuller chest than me. If she decided to get a breast reduction I'm for that, right? Because she's always complaining about, you know, her back hurting and stuff like that. Now, if she said that she wants a bre breast reduction just because Samarella went and got a breast reduction, that's when I'm not with it, okay? So that's what I mean when I say I'm for plastic surgery, but the reason behind it is more important to me than you just going to get the surgery, you know? Because I really don't care what you, what you do because you can do whatever you want with your body. But it's the reason behind it that we're, we're discussing today because we're talking about confidence and how you feel within yourself, okay? I feel like I'm talking to my little sister because this is how I talk to her. Um, I have two little sisters. One is 20, how old am I? One is 23 and one is turning 16. So yeah. <laughs> But that's how I feel when I'm talking to y'all. I feel like I'm talking to my family. So, you know, we get real over here, girl. That's just how we are here. And if you're new here, make sure you subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe, okay? <laughs> In regards to plastic surgery, I'm not against it, like I said. But when it becomes, like, impulsive and you're just doing it like it's a tattoo, that's when it kind of gets, like, borderline dangerous. And then it's like, well, what is the real reason why you're doing this, you know? So, yeah, that's something to consider. Now, 
when people say that people who get plastic surgery just don't love themselves and they don't like how they look i don't really think that's really a thing you know some things are not easy to get rid of with just working out and i say that from experience i don't like working out first of all if y'all take me to the gym i might cry and i'm not even i'm not even all that like i have a little pudge but that's pretty much it like I got a little back roll and a little pudge, but that's, you know, it's just bloating. Your girl don't eat right. I ain't not doing no calorie counting. Y'all watch my vlogs. I just be digging in, okay? I love food. Food loves me back, and that's just how we are here. <laughs> so, yeah. Now, if you're someone like me who's just refusing to go to the gym and then you just go and get surgery and just keep your same habits, then it's kind of redundant to then go and get plastic surgery because... I'm just gonna keep eating girl okay I'm just gonna keep eating <laughs> but yeah so that's how I feel about plastic surgery I don't really feel like plastic surgery belongs in the confidence area because there's other reasons why people go and get surgery and plastic surgery and cosmetic surgery and stuff like that um, I'm all for like lipocapitation and stuff like that love that laser lipo do what you want do whatever you want with your body all I care about is when you wake up how do you feel like do you feel like a mannequin Barbie or do you feel like the baddest bitch ever okay you know I watch girls on YouTube they get um, plastic surgery and they feel way better way confident then I see some girls that get the plastic surgery and they're like oh I just get so much unwanted attention this is not what I wanted and they start having regrets that's what I don't want for you so I feel like social media glorifies plastic surgery but they don't really go into depth about the cons about plastic surgery I myself have never had plastic surgery so I can only speak off of what I'm seeing but this is what I'm constantly hearing over and over and over again so from my standpoint I can only get Give you my viewpoint but I cannot give you any facts because I've never done it so yeah that's pretty much all I have to say about plastic surgery so let's move on along <laughs> girl this Casamigos is doing what it needs to do <laughs> um, I have my airpod in so I can hear myself on my phone so yeah <laughs> so uh, don't mind that I'm trying to cover her with my hair but you know y'all be getting a little sneak peek and be like this girl bougie she got her air potted don't mind that okay and yes i'm missing a nail the press-ons let's move on let's move on <laughs> so let's rewind a little bit back to the insecurities part because like i said one of my main insecurities is my teeth um and you see them in every youtube video you know i don't really get that many hate comments about it so I, sometimes i feel like i'm overreacting but then i'll be watching my video back and be like ugh girl close your mouth like <laughs> but like like I said like I don't sit here and try to down myself all the time like that is very detrimental how you speak to yourself is very important because that's how you start to really feel and that's when the negative comments and hate comments like if, if I told myself that every day and then I got on um, social media and seeing comments like that it would really make me feel down about myself and not feel as beautiful as I know I am like if I feel like I'm the most beautiful person and I radiate beauty and I just like I don't even know how to describe this y'all because y'all see me and y'all think I'm just so confident I have my days where I'm just like oh I look like shit I hate I look blah, blah blah but then I have to tell myself girl you are a bad bitch are you kidding me like what do you see me <laughs> okay I have my days where I'm real real cocky okay y'all will know because like baby your girl she can go from zero to 100 real quick real quick nigga I, I um just try to keep powering myself up um daily and you know speaking love with toward myself so that i can radiate love outwards um i feel like if you are not the most attractive out here you should be more attractive in here so that you're able to radiate that energy out and everyone will think you're beautiful anyway you know so yeah that leads to my next topic last topic is feeling beautiful without validation the most important topic there is in regards to this okay this Casamigos y'all know how it do to me it smacks me but gently you know a little love tap you know <laughs> so The glass is empty, so you know what that means. We're on the last topic for real because 
unless we're gonna refill. Not this video. But after this video, y'all, I probably be filming the Tipsy Talks. I'm being lit. Okay? I'm being here in the dark in my pajamas or in my underwear and my bra set. And I'm dancing in front of the TV, honey. Lights off. I mean, get it, okay? <laughs> Anywho, the last topic is feeling beautiful without validation. This is without validation from anyone. It doesn't even have to be just from a man if you're a female or from a woman if you're a male. So even this body confidence thing is for men as well. Like be confident in your height, your size, your damn weight, your penis size. Well, I don't even care what it is, okay? Your face, your acne, your your razor bumps on your neck, your anything, your lips. You think your lips are too big, you think your nose is too big. Anything like that, like who cares what everybody else thinks? Like, if you carry yourself like you the baddest, or you carry yourself like you the finest nigga on the planet, it's gonna emulate in your energy how you feel. You don't need someone else to say, "Oh my God, you are so pretty." You know why? Because if I'm just so genuinely nice and I go around, I compliment women, I say, "Girl, oh my God, your outfit is so cute. You look great." You know what she's gonna say to me? Thanks, girl. You know I like your da 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 da. She'll pick something on you. I know. Okay, I know. And then you just own that shit. And that's just on period. It's no rule book of how to feel confident. It's no rule book of what qualifies as beautiful and what qualifies as ugly. It's all about you, how you feel and how you own it, how you rock it, all of that, okay? So you're gonna walk into the building, the next building you walk in, you're gonna walk in with your head up. You're not gonna be down in your phone like this, awkwardly walking into the building like, oh my God, I hope no one's staring at me. No, everyone's gonna be turning their neck at you. You know why? Cause you're the finest thing that ever walked in this building. You understand me? And that's just on period, okay? Please, I wish, I hate when my friends, any of them, say, oh my God, I don't look good today. Oh, I'm not feeling myself today. All that, cut that shit out, period, okay? That's it. If you feel like you are the baddest and you walking like you are, there's always gonna be somebody in the crowd saying, yes, honey, okay, period, you know why? Because they can feel the energy from you that you feel like you're the baddest. Y'all, when I do photo shoots and I take my Instagram pictures or I do anything like that, or even if, even now, I have no makeup on. No makeup on. I just have my wig. This is not even installed. I could pull it off right now if I wanted to. I just have my wig laid and my eyebrows look pretty fucking decent. You know what? I would walk up into a wing spot, just for example, because honey, I'm, fin I'm feeling wings tonight. I don't know why. <laughs> I walk into the wing spot and pick up my order and someone would be like, oh my God, I like your hair or oh my God, I like your purse. Da -da -da -da. And that would strike a conversation and me not being like, okay, thank you. The fuck? Me being like, thanks girl. It's from da -da -da -da. They're like, Oh my God, that's so cool. What do you do? Da -da -da. That's beautiful. That's confidence. That's everything, okay? No one's worried about your pudge after you just ate a buffet, honey. They're worried about your aura, what you bring to the table, what you got going on. Cause I could be bloated as hell and walk in in my in my sundress and someone's still gonna compliment me even though it'll look like I'm two months damn pregnant, okay? Because the aura that I'm bringing, I feel like I'm the baddest regardless. No one is perfect. And I wish everybody would get off of Instagram comparing themselves to everybody else and just figure out how you look. Look at yourself on this whole journey. Everyone has done a glow up. You're in your best season, your winning season. This is it. So live it up, okay? I am just here to live life. And that's the motto for 2021, okay? And that's the motto going forward. I say this so often and you guys are still asking me how to be confident. You just wake up and own it. That's it. There is no rule book to this. There is no secret code to this. I didn't just, um, I didn't just read something and boom, I was confident. And you just gotta own it. And that's just it. And that's just all I got for you today. <laughs> so yeah, let's stop with this self-deprecating language. Let's stop uh, seeking validation from other people. You need to be your number one cheerleader. Tell yourself every day, I am handsome. Or tell yourself every day, I am healthy, I am wealthy, I'm the shit, I am that bitch. <laughs> okay, whatever you gotta damn say, all right? And own it. Walk into the room and don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. Whether you're male, female, octopus, pink, purple, I don't know. People don't like to self-identify these days and that's fine with me, okay? 
You are you and you are you for a reason. So own it. Okay? And that is all I have to say. And that is all I got today. So remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm about to go drink some more. Cheers to that. Okay.